Oh, good evening folks. It's 15th of June and I am fishing on a secret river for carp. Oh, well I'm not fishing yet. It's the 15th of June. I'll be fishing at midnight. Just got my rod set up and uh, I've actually seen a few fish. I've, I came down here on two evenings ago and pre baited. I put in uh, a couple of kilos of particles, about half a kilo, a quarter of a kilo of pellets, and about the same of boilies. You're going to have to excuse the planes, we're under a runway here, so uh, they come over every minute. <clears throat> I haven't really done much observation of the swim, uh, but I have seen fish, I've seen at least four. Um, they look like all mirrors to me, not massive either. Sort of in between about six and ten pounds, something like that. Just got my rig set up. Um, it's quite a snaggy swim, I'll show you in a minute. It's snaggy, snaggy. It's got, it's got a lot of cabbage, there's a lot of vegetation in it. Um, so it's kind of no-nonsense fishing. I've got a size four hook on one rod and a six on the other. I've run out of fours. I probably would have used a four on both. But yeah, first night of the river season. Pretty simple rigs. Basically, I've got a 15 pound line on both rods. Strong line. Um, three ounce leads, and they're, they're set up so they're going to get dumped if I get a take, if I get a run. And then a fairly short, I'll show you actually. Start that in. 18 mil homemade boilie, it's a fish meal boilie with um, some GLM in there and some keramine liver and fish hydral sape, a bit of smidge of hemp oil, and some fishy flavouring, monster crab and monster squid I think. Size four wide gate hook. And the hair is has got a little ring on there, and then a hook aligner. This is 35 pound vigilante. Basically, I want something that will not break and it will slice through any cabbagey shit on the bottom. It's a pretty short hook length, probably eight inches or something. That just goes up to an inline lead, and that's that's fixed on there, so it, it can come off. Should the fish go into a snag or anything like that, the way you do that is you actually you tie the the line kind of onto the wrong end of the swivel, so the hook end, and then the other end is hangs down like a tag. That goes in the front of the lead. Then you have a tail rubber, which you just put on gently at the... You don't push them right on. You just sort of nick it on there so it's, it comes off easy. The idea of that is twofold, really. One, the lead can't get snagged up in anything if the fish goes through any uh, any snags. And two, it also, with, with the lead off, the fish is more likely to come up towards the surface and away from the snags. I've put in a bit of feed already. Um, not a massive amount, maybe a, a pint of particles. I've, I'm going to fish both rods in the margins, I think, down the edge. So I've spread it along a little bit of about 20 foot. Um, maybe 15 boilies, a handful of pellets, that's, that's about it really, just kind of trickled along the edge. I'm just going to drop one rig to my left, upstream, 
there's a little sort of well little quite big alder tree in that there's a little sort of pool behind it and there's a nice run down the inside it's not very it's not cabbagey the cabbages are kind of over the far side and it's a bit of streamer weed and stuff so I'm just gonna literally be dropping my rig straight down the down the margin basically it's quite deep uh, it's three or four foot I'm sure you can't really see me but it's five to midnight on the 15th of June so we're going to be kicking off this river season shortly I've just put uh, a sort of egg-sized bag of broken up boilies and pellets on each rod I'm going to be plopping them out shortly I'd like to wish you all a successful fishing season and uh, yeah, hopefully we'll catch a few fish tonight. I shall speak to you again if I get any bites. I'll say goodbye for now. Well, that didn't take long. That was a bloody epic fight. 20 pounds, 15 ounces. So, uh, yeah, pretty mad. Got me locked up solid a few times, that one. Alright, I'll just get a quick snap. Oh, that was pretty bloody hectic. It's uh, put up a hell of a scrap. I mean, my bait must have only been out five minutes. And, uh, I think I had the fish on the mat at about 20 past 12, so. Yeah, about a 15 minute fight. A couple of good long strong runs. It was a big long fish. It wasn't particularly fat at all. It could potentially be much heavier. Um, just got my rod. I had to set up again. Uh, I was a bit worried that the line was slightly damaged. So it was grating against a lot of... There's only soft foliage in the edge but uh, there's a little kink in the line, so I took a couple of meters off and, and set up again. Put a new bag on and, and plopped it back out there. Whew, blimey, still shaking. That was mega. Yeah. Alright, I think I'm going to make a cup of tea. And then uh, get back in bed again. I don't know if I'll be able to sleep now. I'm woken up now. I was, I was kind of dozing off. <laughs> dozing off like just before the just before midnight yeah obviously got a whole load of adrenaline running through me now so I'm not not, uh, not tired anymore all right I'll shut up and get back to fishing well morning folks there's quite a lot of splashing and stuff in the night and uh, when I got up this morning it looks like the carp is spawning so uh, that's probably why I didn't catch any more so I've packed up, there's no point fishing for them. Uh, I've done a little bit of bank work, cleared a few swims, and now I'm going to go home, go to the fish shop, and then head off to Ramsey to fish for some tench in the fens. I'll be back here for certain in probably a couple of weeks once these fish have uh, spawned. I mean, I've had, I've had a look along and seen at least a dozen individual fish four of them I would say 20 pound ish and then a sort of smattering of doubles and the old little and, and a bream um, so I'm definitely going to come back here probably I think might even be the week after next actually before I go on holiday I'm going on holiday in about three weeks. I'll probably pop down one evening, bait very heavily, leave it for a couple of days, then come and fish it. Probably just for a sort of evening after work, I think. Rather than night. But yeah, I'm gonna get my clogs on and bugger off. And I'll see you probably, er, I don't know, hopefully early afternoon. 
there's not much I need to get ready. I'm kind of get sort of sorted the sort of fishing I want to do. So um, I'm just going to go and grab some lighter rods from home and get some bait from the shop and uh, boost off to Ramsey to go and I'll have a look at Black Mill. Probably fish there. I must remember my weed rake actually. So I'll see you in five or six hours time. Yeah, I was very surprised that I didn't uh, get any more fish. But now it's fairly obvious. These fish are spawning here. I see one over there. There's a whole load of them. And they weren't doing this. Last night, I did see a few fish cruising around, but during the night they just started going off. And then this morning I came down here and saw them, so I pulled my rods in and just did a bit of bank work, cutting a few swims out and stuff. So I've cleared four, four swims now, which will serve me in the the coming weeks. I think I might do a reasonable amount of this down here. Now that big one there, that's the fish I caught last night actually. I'm pretty sure. But yeah, I mean there, there's a decent common there. all over the place yeah that, that back fish there that mirror that's the one I caught last night that one there just poked his back out and then there's one two three four five and six six fish there in that group And then there are various others around and about. Alright, pack up. I'll see you later, folks.